everybody welcome back to another bath and body works semi-annual sale haul um i had to combine like three packages i had to wait days because they separated it but i'm excited so let's get into it also a couple of these products i just used my like free reward thingy on like for example into the night i got this and the body lotion and I got that with my free reward and also that strawberry pound cake and the lotion with my free reward but besides that everything else I got with a semi-annual sale so let's get into this video so first thing I'm going to start with is the aroma therapy orange ginger in the body wash and foam bath I've never tried their bubble bath or foam bath but this was on sale for like two three bucks and i was like yes i'll take her and she actually smells pretty good not bad not bad at all i actually like this one um it's supposed to energize and uplift so there's that um and yeah so that's her Next, I got the CBD Eucalyptus Mint Massage and Body Oil. Now, this was also on sale. I would normally not buy the CBD products or the aromatherapy because I just like the fruitier scents or the gourmand scents or whatever scents. I just normally don't get the fresher scents like this. Now, I do love Eucalyptus Mint, but not my vibe too much anymore but yeah and it was really cheap it was like two or three dollars too so why not why not um and then i got the into the night the body spray um uh, let me tell you about the eucalyptus man real quick does it say anything well it has cbd 250 milligrams and jojoba oil besides that it doesn't really say much and actually okay so this is like what it looks like with the top off so and she smells good she smells like eucalyptus so you know but into the night is now like my new favorite fragrance ever since i got it in the mini one and i was so mad i just didn't get it in the big one so long story short it hasn't went on sale yet, so I just got it as a free gift. The fragrance notes is Raspberry Noir, no, 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 whatever. Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Must. And you guys, oh, she smells beautiful if y'all have not tried into the night like this is my first year trying it and it smells amazing <sighs> i would definitely recommend her um definitely a 10 out of 10 and i forgot to unwrap all the lotions so that is just going to have to be okay but anyways this is the lotion and I think the packaging is really cute uh, okay so at first I really didn't smell nothing with the lotion but it's a little bit of a lighter scent it's not as perfumey as the body spray but it smells so good it smells so good and yeah and I really actually love their body lotion because I just feel like it's so moisturizing. Um, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've already tried the uh, body lotion, but I really love it. Like, it's probably my favorite lotion out of any lotions I've ever used, except for like Eos. That's a pretty good brand for lotion too. I like that one. Um, but I also got the strawberry pound cake, and as you see, I've been using it just a little bit because I had to wait for two more packages to show up and I was like, well, you know, 
<sighs> and she smells so good. The fragrance notes is fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. So I already had strawberry pound cake, but I wanted a cuter bottle than what I had. And this is cute. This is cute. So we had to get her. You can definitely smell the shortcake and the strawberries. I think the whipped cream just pulls it all together and gives it that sweet, sweet smell. It just smells so good. Um, definitely my favorite um, strawberry scent from Bath & Body Works. Um, definitely. I don't think there's an argument with it. So, but this is the lotion. Super cute. And the lotion smells great. It smells just like a strawberry shortcake. Just like it. It smells so good. Um, now, I've never tried pastel skies. I got it in the full set, in the faceted and it was on sale it was on sale i believe it was four dollars i may be mistaken it might have been during the 3.95 sale it was either during the 3.95 or 4.95 not sure but i mean that's a pretty good price for a 19 dollar bottle of body spray so anyways No, I'm not a fan of her actually. Um, the fragrance notes is soft cloud berries, pink sponge sugar, and coconut musk. I don't know why I don't like this one because it sounds like it would be good. That's why I got it. But um, no, absolutely not. Actually, it it kind of smells stale. Like I do not like this. <sighs> I don't like it. I don't like it, you guys. That actually really makes me sad because I was really hoping that I was going to like it. But I also got it in the body lotion. So there's that, I guess. Um, that's not it. I'm actually sad about that. So I'm kind of sad because one of the things I got rid of um, between last year and this year is my bright Christmas morning. I had the whole set. I had the body spray. I had two body sprays actually. I had the lotion, the body cream, the um, body wash. Um, I'm sure there was something else, but I had the whole set and I got rid of it and I'm so sad. So now I'm just stuck with just having the spray and I, if y'all watch my videos, y'all know that I need the whole set. I need the whole set so bad. Ugh, gets on my nerves. but. Bright Christmas morning is amazing. I love it. <sighs> Smells so good. It's ripe red berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. <sighs> she smells amazing. Definitely recommend that one. If you've never tried that one, it's amazing. Um, I got a few things that um, we're on sale and I got it just because it was on sale, kind of like the aromatherapy and CBD, but I got at the beach salt body scrub, which I've never used salt body scrub. So I literally just got it cause it was on sale. I normally use sugar scrub cause I feel like it's probably more moisturizing, but I am kind of excited to try this. So I got two of these. Um, because I believe they're on sale for like $3 and I was like, that's fine. You'll be mine. You'll be mine. And then I also got the sugar scrub, the foaming sugar scrub, um, the Ging Gingham Vibrant one. And, you know, I've actually, I've actually never used their sugar scrub, but I use sugar scrub from like Tree Hut and stuff. But I've never used Bath and Body Works brand, so I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. Um, now, I did not decide that I wanted this scent until it was sold out. They put it back online one day, and I was literally, I literally woke up early enough to get it. It wasn't sold out yet. 
And I was like, do I really want to make a small, small order? <sighs> I waited an hour to think on it and it was sold out. It was sold out. And I literally almost cried because I went back to order it. I went back to order it because I was going to get like six items, I think, five or six items. I was going to get the whole set of fairy tale. And then I was going to get, um, I think a couple lip glosses or something, but you know, I got this to smell it cause I've never tried fairy tale before. And I think it's pretty and I think it sounds pretty. And then I read the fragrance notes, which made me think about getting it cause I've realized that I like Amber a lot. So the fragrance notes is pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. And I'm really sad I did not get the scent. But I'm also really happy it's not one of the discontinued scents. Now, I will be sad if I don't see it again this year. And I don't care if I have to pay full price for it. If I see it, I'm getting it. So anyway, fairy tale. I already told you the fragrance notes. Let's give her a smell. <sighs> she smells so good. She smells so good. Oh my gosh. And this is the body wash, you guys. If the body wash smells good, y'all know the body spray and the body lotion smells great because the body wash has more of a soapy smell to it. I'm so sad. I'm honestly so sad. And then this is another one that I waited too long to get. I'm really upset with these shower gels. Every time I look at them, I'm like, I didn't get the whole set and I could have, and I could have got the whole set for really cheap. And I waited too long to decide if I wanted to get it or not. I waited too long. And it really makes me sad. But anyways, vanilla mocha martini. Um, this one does not have the fragrance notes. Hmm, weird. Yeah, anyways. Um, And she smells so good. Oh my gosh, I am so upset with myself. And this is the same thing. If I see this one, and even if it's full price, I'm buying it. I normally don't buy Bath and Body Works at full price, but I am so upset with myself. I will punish myself by buying it full price because it smells so good. It smells so good. I am so upset that I did not get it. I'm so upset. So I'm really excited about these next few items because I waited so long for them to go on sale. Like so long and also they're also like cooler items or different items than you normally see in Bath and Body Works. Well, I wouldn't say normally see, but you know, it's just like the different special items I like to call them. So we're gonna start with those. Um, the first one I got is the SPF 20 sunscreen lotion in Wilkiki Beach Coconut, which I'm not the hugest fan of Wilkiki Beach Coconut, nor am I the biggest fan of Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I definitely don't like the Bahamas one, but that's the only one that they had to spray lotion in, which we'll get to that in a second. But this smells pretty good. I like her and I also love the smell of sunscreen. So you definitely get a little bit of smell of sunscreen mixed in with the Wakiki Beach Coconut. So, um, yeah, this is her just for a good look. And I'm going to just rub some of her in on the skin just so we can get a good smell of her on the skin. Oh, yeah. I like it way much better with the sunscreen. <sighs> See, I don't really need sunscreen because I don't burn easy, but <sighs> I just wanted it because I wanted to try it and also love the smell of sunscreen. So, like, I'll literally just wear this as a regular lotion. So, and it's not that I don't like Wakiki Beach Coconut. I like it, but it's just not 
on the top. There's just so many scents that is better, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Now, this is the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. And it is a lightweight spray, a lightweight spray body moisturizer. And the fragrance notes is passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. So this is her. And I'm just gonna give her a little shake. I don't know if you need a shaker, but we're just gonna shake her up a little bit. And we're gonna give her a little spray. Do y'all see how that goes on? That's kind of cool. I am, ooh, it goes on like water. Okay, this is cool. This is really cool. And this is really actually lightweight. Um, I actually really like this. This is really nice. Now, I just hate that smell of banana flower in it. Ugh, anyways, but. It doesn't smell bad. I feel like it may smell a little bit better in this lightweight formula, but I do not like the smell of the banana flower in it. It's just not what I like to smell. I feel like it gives off a really floral scent that I don't want to smell. It just isn't what I want to smell at all. But I mean, it's really lightweight. It's not leaving my skin greasy or anything it's really nice I definitely recommend this um I really love their products that are in like bottles like this like they got the shimmer like um lotion the fizzy lotion the shapeable soap and all that stuff I actually really love them items because I just feel like they're so cool and different and I really just enjoy them I don't know they're fun now, these, I waited so long for them to go on sale, and I waited so long for them to come online. The Groovy Collection, and I just think the Groovy Collection is so cute. So, I believe that the Groovy Watermelon is the pink watermelon from last year, and the fragrance notes is Juicy Pink Watermelon, Sugared Strawberry Blossoms, and Lime Zest. And you guys, this is one of the, like, best smelling watermelon scents ever. <sighs> it literally smells like watermelon candy. <sighs> she smells so good. It's, it's so sweet and watermelon-y. It's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. I definitely recommend. I also got it in the lotion which I'm telling y'all, I just think the packaging is the cutest thing. I am obsessed with it. Um, ow, that kind of hurt. But I'm trying to get it open and I have lotion on my hands. So it's kind of making it difficult. Oh gosh. Come on. Listen, I am just trying to smell you. Okay. Now, Groovy Watermelon, the lotion. Um, oh, wow, okay, well, we love that. We're just having a lot of technical difficulties right now. It's very chaotic in this video, sorry. Um, wow, this squirt on me, we love that. Anyways, she smells great, absolutely phenomenal watermelon candy all day um that is what groovy watermelon pink watermelon is is watermelon candy now rainbow waves i got her the only one i didn't get is the golden sunflower and that's because i was like 90 percent sure i wasn't gonna like it but i got the rainbow waves i am a little questionable on this just because um misty waters like what is misty waters but Fragrance notes is sunny sangria, bright melon, and misty waters. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and try her. <sighs> I don't 
don't like her. I don't like her actually. Like she's not horrible. It does give you like beach vibes, but I don't like whatever scent is so strong in there that stinks. And I'm not even so sure it stinks. It's more so just so strong. It's like not good. Not good. No, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. And I got it in the lotion. So that's what she looks like in the lotion. Now, we're going to move on to Disco Daydream. And this one, I better love because I feel like I'm going to love it and I better love it because it's purple and that's the prettiest container out of all of them and I love it. The fragrance notes is Cali Days, Wild Vanilla, and Radiant Coconut. Why would I not love this? What? Exactly. Why would I not love this? This smells great. <sighs> Now this is very beachy. This one gives me summer vibes. This one smells amazing. They needed to take some notes from Disco Daydream and put it into Rainbow Waves because Rainbow Waves is struggling. It's struggling. <sighs> that smells so good. It smells like it has some type of like fruit in there, but you can definitely smell the vanilla and the coconut. It smells really good, and I just love the packaging. The packaging is just so pretty. Um, I also got it in the lotion. Um, I try to stay away from body creams this year because I've heard that the body creams go bad quicker than the um, lotions, which I haven't had any issues with my body creams that I bought last year, but I'm sure it's soon to come because, yeah. I'm sure because people say like the color gets darker which I have seen like one or two of mine have a little bit of a darker tint but I don't really think it's that serious I don't think it's that serious until it's like weird you know so anyways the disco daydream lotion and hmm uh... I'm trying to decide if I like the lotion more, honestly, because it smells kind of <sighs> sweeter. But most of the lotions do smell kind of sweeter, but this one smells sweeter. So I kind of like it. I, I, well, not even kind of like it. I do like it. I like it a lot, actually. Now these last, last two, well, not last two. I still have a, a few more things to go through, but last two sets. I'm so excited for it. Oh. You guys, I got the Fruity Sherbet Scoop and the Whipped Coconut Milkshake. I got both the sets. I am so excited for these. I have been wanting these, but I was trying to wait for the Groovy Collection to go on sale and actually go online before I ordered these because I wanted to get them all and at first, I believe these, or was I waiting for these to come online? I think I was waiting for these to come online and the Groovy Collection to go on sale. Because I don't think I cared about these being on sale. I don't remember. Either way. Oh, oh my gosh. Fruity Sherbert Scoop is amazing, you guys. It's amazing. This is actually... probably my new favorite scent. This is my new fruity favorite scent. I love it. it. The fragrance notes is rainbow, rainbow sherbet, zesty orange, and sun-kissed strawberry. That smells absolutely amazing you know it's serious when in a video i have to drench myself in a scent i'm obsessed with it it smells amazing actually did it say strawberry it said strawberry i think i might even choose that one over the strawberry pound cake 
yeah yeah but i also got it in the lotion or the the body cream and let's go ahead and do a little swatch of her I'm gonna be smelling like 50 shades of body works here in a second, like I'll always do after these videos, but it's okay. At least I know I smell good. Well, actually, I might actually smell bad with a lot of scents mixed together, but that's fine. Oh yeah, and the body cream smells great too. That smells great. I am obsessed. Okay. So we got the whipped coconut milkshake and I'm really excited for her, but I watch um, Queen of the Girl Geeks and she said it smells more like a syrup, which she's normally right with a lot of stuff. I used to like be scared to try some of the scents that didn't sound good, that she said it was good. But when I started actually trying them, she's actually pretty accurate on a, on a lot of stuff. Now, there's a few things I don't necessarily agree with that she says, but everybody has like different scent buds, you know, so, but for the most part, I really love her. I really love Bonnie. I love Bonnie. So anyways, um, whipped coconut milkshake. The fragrance notes is vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, and sugared amber. Y'all hear that sugared amber? You know I'm gonna love it. You know I'm going to love this scent. And I do love this scent. Now, I do get where she's getting the syrup from because it definitely smells syrupy, but I think it's the toasted coconut that's making it smell syrupy. It's the to toasted coconut mixed with the amber and then like the very sweetness of the vanilla ice cream that makes it smell super syrupy but I actually really love it it's a it's a really good scent now would I consider it a summer scent a hundred percent probably not so much um but would I wear it in the summer sure Sure, it gives me like 4th of July vibes, but I would put this more in the Christmas season maybe, like not necessarily fall because it's not like pumpkin spice and everything nice type of scent, but it's more so like a sweeter, warmer scent, which I wear my warmer scents in the colder seasons for the most part, and then I'll wear like my fruity, like bubbly scents in the um spring and summer <sighs> the body cream is very much on coconut um the body cream really doesn't even smell like syrup or toasted coconut it just smells like coconut and vanilla so i feel like the body cream is a little off um she she's not really like the spray but i feel like they definitely go together as a match because you would get more of the coconut with the syrup maybe <clears throat> so i'm not mad at it now i am pretty excited for this because i got the perfume of gingham vibrant and this is my first time ever getting a perfume from bath and body works and you guys ooh, i should do it like they do in some of the youtube videos where they like reveal it to y'all all fancy like like just look at her hold on hold on oh she's so cute i'm telling y'all she is adorable i really love her I wonder how much more stronger she is than the, do the body spray. Oh uh, yeah, she smells great. <sighs> and she's definitely a bit stronger than the body spray. I like her, I like her a lot. Um, but I'm probably never gonna use it because I'm scared too, because it's my only perfume. And she's beautiful. I also got the regular gingham and the whipped body butter because this was super cheap. I think it was like, what, $5, $4, something like that. 
And I was like, hold on now. Hold on now. You're putting body butter on sale. Yes, it's mine. So this is she and that is what she looks like. <sighs> and she smells pretty good. Pretty good. Actually smelling this makes me sad that I didn't get the gingham collection like I was planning on it. But it's okay. I still have like 30 items in my cart waiting for them to go on sale and the gingham set is one of them so it's all right. Now gingham is not my favorite scent by any means but I really want the set. Like I want to have every single gingham and I have every single gingham but the regular gingham so. And it don't smell bad it's just more of a fresh scent and I'm not a fan of the fresh scents but I do like it. It smells good. Now. I got two packs of hand sanitizers. I got one of the Cactus Blossom and I got one of the Watermelon Lemonade, which I really didn't need hand sanitizers. I already have a lot, but they were on sale for $4 for the five pack instead of $5 for the five pack. And I was like, yeah, I'll go ahead and get those. And I also never tried Cactus Blossom. So I wanted to see what Cactus Blossom smelled like, but I need to find an area of my skin that has not been fooled with. So, let's see here. It's probably really gonna dry out my arm, but good thing we got a bunch of Bath and Body Works to take care of that. Hmm, Cactus Blossom actually really isn't bad. It actually smells pretty good. I actually like, kind of like the Cactus Blossom. Uh, and this is even in the hand sanitizer, so at its like most potent state. <sighs> I love that. That is great. Cactus Blossom smells great. Definitely recommend. So the last things that I have, I have three wallflower plugins, and then I got three of each scent of the wall, wallflower refills. Um, and then I got hand creams and lip glosses. So the first wallflower I got is the elephant holding the leaf. I thought it was just super cute and just fancy. If y'all watch my other haul, I got like a black and gold succulent. So I figured this would go really cute with that. Um, and then I also got the camper because it's so cute. I love it so much and it lights up. So that's fun. Um, oh, and this one has scent control. I don't think I've ever had one with scent control on it, but that's pretty cool. Um, I feel like the regular plugs put out just as good amount of scent. Like I always get the decorative ones. Um, but I feel like they do just as much good a scent as you would want. So I don't know. I might fiddle. Actually, I do have a scent control one in the bathroom, but I keep it in the middle. So I'm assuming that's like the regular. It's like the regular ones that don't have scent control. But anyways, we're getting off topic. Um, This one, I got the little like, um, I don't know what you'd call it. Does it have a name on here? No. No. Okay, well, anyways, this is like a little lantern, but with like leaf print on it. And I just like it because it's kind of tropical and it's cute and it lights up. So, got that. And now, with the refills, I got three of each scent. So, I got Amethyst Dreams. I got Raspberries and Whipped Vanilla. I got watermelon lemonade and I got golden honeycomb and I got the strawberry pound cake. I always have to get strawberry pound cake and I always um, get watermelon lemonade because I love those. And raspberries and whipped vanilla is like my new favorite scent this year as far as like candles and like house scents go. And then um, 
the Amethyst Dreams. I just tried that this year and it smells great. I got the Golden Honeycomb to kind of transition into fall because it's more of a warmer scent and I love it. So yeah. But anyways, we got the Coconut Colada in the lip gloss and I also got the Pineapple Prosecco in the lip gloss. And um, I'll just have to do a review on these in another video because I don't feel like fooling with their packaging because it's so hard to get their lip glosses out of the packaging. It's annoying. But I got the Pink Pineapple Sunrise in the hand cream. And I got two of the Tutti Frutti Candies in the hand cream. You guys, Tutti Frutti Candy smells so good. So good. I want the body care so bad, but like on Macari, it's so expensive. And I don't even know if they'll ever sell it in store again. I just really hope they do because it smells so good. But anyways, um, that is it. That is it for this haul. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really love making videos like this and I really love, you know, giving my insight on the scents that I get and like trying to help others decide what they get and... I really just love reviewing the products and I love shopping at Bath and Body Works and I love shopping at Victoria's Secret. Those are my main places that I'll be shopping at anytime on my channel. And then, you know, of course there'll be other stores here and there, but mainly just Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret because those are my obsession. Well, Bath and Body Works is my obsession. I'm getting more obsessed with Victoria's Secret, but my goal is to have every scent possible of Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret. It's really my goal. So, anyways, thank y'all guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Bye!